It's your favorite gold miner prospector and geologist, Jeff Williams. Got you back up here in the Canyonlands. We're looking for a mine up here that's connected to the other mines via the trend that's running through here. Except this one's supposed to be huge. It produced gold, silver, copper. Now this mine was one of the largest in the area on the east side of this mountain. And if you just follow the trend on Google Earth, you'll see where all the mines line up because there's an outcrop that travels north to south. Isn't that cool? And you can do that too. Now the host rock that we're in out here is mostly limestone with a few bands of dolomite. And this is your typical limestone right here. Nasty gray Mississippian limestone. Now the difference between limestone and dolomite is that limestone is calcium carbonate and dolomite is calcium magnesium carbonate where most of your calcite's being replaced by magnesium. And because of that, it makes it a little bit stronger. And you can see great examples of this in a lot of your capital buildings in the DC area. They're made out of dolomite. But the problem with calcium carbonate is that it mostly hosts replacement deposits and not a lot of gold. Of course you do have the Carlin Trend, which is a carbonate hosted deposit, but keep in mind that's a low grade high tonnage mine and small prospectors like us don't want that we want high grade low tonnage and i got a spooky story to tell you about this mine too that an old timer told me oh look at this isn't that beautiful nice i still got some snow up on the mountains and you can see the huge uplift of limestone from that thrust fault. Yeah, I know, I can hear it from here. Jeff, stop all that tongue wagging and chin gapping and get on to finding that mine. We wanna see some gold, silver, and copper. Ooh, you guys are a tough crowd. See that? See the malachite? Right there? It's part of a replacement deposit. Isn't that cool? About. And look who I found! William, Remote <clears throat> Trooper Channel. I was just filming a cabin up here in the mountains and I came down to check out this mine and I'm like, you guys will see it in my video, but I'm like, man, there's somebody over here. I'm kind of nervous and I pull up and it's- Cause he heard the banjos <laughs> and I told him to drop them pants real good like. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy's uh, channel, good, good people. So we're gonna go ahead and leave a link to his channel down below. I, I want you guys to check it out cause he goes all over the place and I'm surprised we haven't run into each other before this right. because <laughs> I've watched his videos and it's like, hey, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. <laughs> I should have ran 
into them? Well, as the fate has it, we ran into each other. So we're gonna get on to looking at this mine and I'll tell you what I know about it. And um, I guess he's gonna go grab his banjo and we're gonna go have a good time. Right, sure. <laughs> hey, it was nice meeting yeah, you, my nice friend. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right. You guys take care, thank you. Have oh, a good one. You know what I'm gonna say, right? What's so that? come on. <laughs> no, you don't. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, we found it, we found it. Look at this. Ah, the BLM's got to it before us. Probably for good reason. And the main shaft was here, and it's nasty. It's a nasty monkey down in here. But you know what? I'm gonna go down there and take a look. Because <laughs> we gotta find out what's down here, huh? Problem is, it just rained. And when it rains, that's right, everything gets heavy. So you gotta be real careful. Yeah, that. Look at that. See, that's the way in right there. Oh, yeah. This one's open, but you can see where it's nasty plug down in there. I think the main shaft is right there. Oh yeah, there's the main shaft. I can see the timbers for it. I don't know if you can see it, but that's one of the timbers for the main shaft. What do you think boss lady? Should I go down? It's kind of tight. <laughs> I think she's saying I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look at here. There's the foot wall of the dolomite. I got beautiful malachite there. See this alteration zone where the hydrothermal fluids have come in and altered this. I got some brecciation going in there. I got a whole bunch of cuprite. It's about 20% copper. Nice. Oh, that's nice. That's why I always say, check the outer margins of these stopes because sometimes there's enough material that you can work, especially at $4,500 an ounce for gold. And see the stopage? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, see that? You can get down into the working levels right down in there, see that? Now this mine stopped operating in 1946. Ooh, and I got stories to tell you about it. And a lot of this material that you see in here, see all that? That dark, dark blackish red with a little bit of green? That's cuprite. And the calcasite has been altered to cuprite and malachite. And you can see traces of it here in the rock. Do you see that? This was a big copper producer. Now, the nice thing about this mine is that it did have secondaries of gold and silver in it. So you can pan out little tiny pieces of gold in here. And that's what we're going to try to do today. Yeah, there's some malachite right there. You got beautiful examples of malachite out here, which is about 20% copper. Yeah, you see the alteration? See how crumbly that is? You got a lot of brecciation. And anytime you have replacement deposits or alteration, this is usually the result. Really fractured, crumbly, ugly rock. So you gotta be careful when you're going in places like this. Now we're on the outer margins of the stope. See that? Got a lot of cuprite, malachite. And this is all replacement deposit from altered calcasite. See the coop right there in the middle? And you can see on the outer edges, all the malachite. And malachite is very rich in copper. And this mine has about 20% in the cuprite and the malachite. In fact, you can actually make native copper from malachite. And I shot a video on how to do it. It's really simple. It looks something like this. So we're working with carbonates today, copper carbonates. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert these into oxides. And then from there, we're gonna reduce them into metallic copper. And to help that process along, we're gonna be using carbon or charcoal. I'm also gonna use thinner. I'm gonna use flux. And I'm also gonna use some bone ash. You can take some copper carbonate like this, add some sulfuric acid to it, which turns it into copper sulfate. You can add metal to it like iron or even even aluminum foil and it'll drop that copper right out. We're just gonna get it hot enough to turn it into copper oxide. Yeah, what do you see, huh? Tons and tons of copper, that's what I see. Right, there's the copper bar and oh that's still hot and there's the other cone look at that come here look at this <laughs> wow oh i can feel air look at that yeah blm plugged this one up too you guys did a good job but i don't think i can get in that one what do you think sweetie it's magical 
<laughs> I'll smash that limestone hard. Uh, if you look across the ridge, you can see these big piles of rock. Those are called agave pits. Native American Indians would roast agaves in those pits that would change the limestone to a white color when the rock was heated. And that's how they would roast those agaves and they could eat them. This was primarily a copper mine, as you can tell. And it did have secondaries of gold and silver and some lead. So, oh, here's another one down here. Oh, oh, oh this one's even deeper. Who's been, oh, people have been climbing in. Look at that, oh, really? <laughs> I don't believe it. Look at that. That'd be a good way to get in too. Nice. But you're not getting past that. Now I see the malachite in there. And you have the cuprite and calcasite as it's transitioning over. Isn't that cool? You can smell good copper out of this. So for all you copper thieves out there, what are you doing in town? Come out here, there's copper everywhere. <laughs> if you continue going up this road, at the very top, there's an old cabin up there. It's an A-frame cabin. And in fact, we shot a video up there. It was a Halloween special video. Let's see if you guys can recognize the players in it. Well, the story with that cabin is we found three grave markers up there which were dog tags and they had phone numbers on them so we called the phone number and a guy picked up and he told us that he was the one who built that cabin and he lived in that cabin those were his three dogs that he buried out there but in 1967 the park service said you got to get out of here sonny boy and so he had to leave but he told me a bunch of interesting stories about this area while we were on the phone he told me a story about two boys that came up here to explore this mine and they tried to get down the main shaft now keep in mind that shaft is close to 400 feet deep and 
the timbering in there is really sketchy. It's all made out of juniper and pinion pine. So a lot of it's falling apart. Well, they tried to scale down inside of it. And of course they both fell and they died in there. And I'm not sure if search and rescue was able to locate them or not. Now, if you guys have any more about that story, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you better smash that like button. My name is Jeff. I said, you better smash that like button. <laughs> Now at the end of this month, we're gonna give away a brand new Gold Monster 1000 metal detector, and we're gonna give away a brand new Keen 140S dry washer, complete with backpack blower and hose assembly, and we're gonna give away a Keen puffer dry washer and 10 bags of incredibly rich pay dirt from our drift mine. I mean, these things are world famous. Have you seen them? They look something like this. And each one comes with a silver bar. Now, if you want to get your hands on any of that stuff, all you got to do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like this. You're going to... You just make a $10 pledge and you instantly qualify to get your hands on any of that stuff. But I got to get the boss lady out of here because I got a storm coming in. Looks like snow, huh, boss lady? Yeah. <laughs> all right, one more. Smash it hard. Smash it hard. I love that. We'll see you on the next video.